Welcome sa sitnayan.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung series on trigonometry. No? So, yung next two videos natin, this video and the next video, gagawin natin is to find the sides and angles of a triangle, no? of a right triangle. So, lahat na ng sides, kukunin na natin. At lahat na rin ng angles. No? So, for example, itong, uh, we have triangle PQR, uh, right angled at R. No? Uh, Meron tayong isang side na given, yung ating hypotenuse, tsaka isang angle, no? So, ano bang gusto nyo kunin? Gusto nyo kunin to or yung ito? No? So, kung mara, gusto natin kunin to, itong side na to. Uh, Siyempre, meron tayong angle, angle P. At natitignan natin ano ba yung mga related sa angle P. No? Pag nang kukunin natin ito. Siyempre, related siya yung, uh, yung given na hypotenuse, tsaka yung adjacent, no? adjacent uh, the side adjacent to angle P. So, pag adjacent sa hypotenuse, ano yun? Alin dun sa tatlo? Adjacent sa hypotenuse, cosine siya, di ba? So, magiging cosine uh, 15 degrees, di ba? Cosine theta is ko to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, cosine, ang theta natin is yung angle, 15 degrees equals adjacent side, which is PR, over uh, the hypotenuse, which is 26.5 centimeters. So, meaning PR, if you multiply both sides by 26.5, magiging 26.5 times cosine 15 degrees equals PR. So, we multiplied uh, both sides by 26.5. Maka-cancel to kaya PR na lang matitira. And then... Uh, we multiply also this uh, side here by 26.5, kaya nandito siya. So, balik tayo na, na lang natin. So, PR equals uh, 26.5 times cosine 15 degrees. No? So, ito na yung ating equation. Pwede natin compute yung cosine 15 degrees using uh, calculator. So, uh, pag nagbukas uh, kayo ng calculator nyo, be sure na nasa ano kayo, no? Nasa degree degree mode, no? So, makikita nyo yan pag, uh, I think, in some calculators, naka-DRG siya, no? So, dapat yung nasa screen nyo may nakalagay na DEG. DEG. So, cosine 15 degrees, kunin natin yung cosine, no? And then, we multiply by uh, 26.5. So, ito na yung cosine ng 15 degrees. Multiply by uh, 26.5. Which is 25.6. So, ibig sabihin, yung, yung PR natin ay 25. Approximately 25.6. So, this is just an approximate. So, kaya, ang ating equal sign ay yung, hindi siya pa yung equal sign. Approximate. 25.6 Now, dalawa yung pwede natin gawin dito. Pwede na tayong gumamit ng Pythagorean Theorem para makuha to, no? But I think mas madali kung kunin natin yung uh, using the angle. No? So, pag 15 degrees, we have um, pag opposite, ang gamitin natin opposite tsaka adjacent. Paano yun? Opposite and adjacent. Saan yung ng angle na to? So, this side is the opposite of these angles. So, meron tayong O. And then, this side is the opposite of this angle. Adjacent. Saan ba dun sa tatlo? O tsaka A, di ba? So, tangent. No? So, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tangent theta equals QR over adjacent, 25.6. Ang theta natin ay ano nga? 15 degrees, no? Tangent 15 degrees equals um, uh, QR over uh, 25.6 which means that QR equals uh, 25.6 times tangent 15 degrees. So again, we can uh, use our calculator tangent ng 15 degrees. So, 15 and then we have uh, tangent and then we multiply by 
uh, 25.6 now 25.6 so that's approximately 6.86 QR is approximately 6.86 so yun yung ating uh, sides Siyempre, kukunin natin yung isang angle dito. This is, uh, uh, since 90 ito, and then the angle measure of a triangle, interior angles add up to 180. So, pag 90 ito, 90 na lang itong dalawang to, which means that this one is how many degrees? 90 minus 15, that's 75. 75. So, as we, you can see, uh, using trigonometry, nakuha natin yung tatlong sides ng ng right triangle at nakuha rin natin yung dalawang uh, interior angles. Pwede tatlo kasi given na yung isa. So, yun. No? Kung gusto nyo i-check, pwede natin gamitan ng Pythagorean theorem. No? So, uh, square nyo this one and then you square this and then you get the square root of the sum. You will see that this is uh, the result. Gawin kaya natin. No? I don't know kung naririnig niya yung ulan, no? but uh, medyo malakas yung ulan dito. So, 25.6 So, if I go into here, then PQ squared is equal to PR squared plus QR squared. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And then PQ squared Huwag um, muna natin lagay yung PQ. What is PR? 25.6 squared plus 6.86 squared. PR, PQ squared equals, what is 25.6 squared? 25.6 squared. 65, ang shortcut ng squared is times and then equals 655.36. 655.36 plus 6.86 squared 6.86 squared 47.0596 47.0596 equals so plus 655.36 702.49196 702.4196 is p q square root natin to dapat 26.5 yung makukuha natin because we are looking for the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem no? so we get the square root no? get the square root ayun 26.5 are approximately 16.5, which is the same as this one. So, yun, nakita natin na tama pala tayo. That's one way of checking. Okay, so that's it. I hope meron kayo nito nandun sa video na to. Gusto ko yung invite sa ating uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash sipnanph and our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash sipnanph. Maraming salamat. Uh, uh, subscribe kayo sa ating YouTube channel ano, and visit kayo yung website natin sa sitnayin.com. Nandun yung ating mga list ng mga videos. So, maraming salamat. See you next.